Well, what we were doing is, uh, unlike any other trip to New York, we kind of did more research on this one. Everybody on the team was just kind of sick of seeing the same spots that have been fully stomped out. So we just started watching a bunch of New York videos and that three block ended up being one of the spots that everybody wanted to go to. Getting back on my board from like that injury that I had over the past year and a half, two years actually, uh, I can't skate for longer than two days in a row. So on that trip I had to strategically plan when we were going to that spot and I'd, within that period of time I'd have to take a day off, go get uh, like deep tissue on my legs and then go skate take a day off. It was like a really uh, planned out mission as far as that goes. Like, I don't usually look at videos on YouTube for spots. I just, we just end up there usually naturally. That, that was the only trick I had in mind just because I'm able to, to pop that trick somehow. Probably easier than a fakie flip over anything. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else I could really do about it. Like three flip, but then somebody's gonna do that. And then John Nguyen Nolly flipped it, which is in my eyes, fucking crazier. That trip, the goal for me was to get four tricks, but I wanted to get them on uh, recognizable spots, and I wanted to try the hardest trick I could try and just see if it worked. And uh, most of those tricks in that whole video were tricks I've been wanting to do for a few years, so it was nice to uh, prevail. But definitely, it was. Uh, yeah, every single one of them did not come easy. It was two hours, three hours. I guess I was dormant for so long with, you know, being injured. So like wanting to come back and kind of get that like satisfaction of, uh, of doing something where people are gonna respect it and never really like that. But after the injury, I'm like, fuck, I guess I kind of like worked my ass off to get to that point. The last trip that I was on, I was in New York, and it was filming for the Huff video part for my shoe. Yeah, I was skating down the street one day, and my knee just started locking up. So I started skating switch a lot, and then that knee started locking up. So I started feeling that, and I was like, all right, something's wrong. And uh, I was living in New York at the time, had an apartment, and uh, I was like, all right, I'll go back home. and see the doctor and see what's going on. So I had the same exact tear in my meniscus in my right as my left. I don't know how that is. I don't know if I like ration my skating like that or I skate switch how I skate regular. I guess how I'd bend my knee or, but either way, um, yeah, they told me that I should probably get surgery. Had I known what I know now, I would have never gotten surgery, but uh, we did and uh, told Huff that I was gonna be out for probably a year. Yeah, he understood it, but it was definitely like a, a big setback in the momentum with being on Huff, having, having a shoe, and there was only, only a few guys that had a shoe at the time, so they really wanted to push it. Yeah, so what I was doing, I ended up getting the surgery where they repaired both my meniscus. So they sew it up, and you have to sit. I did both at the same time, so I'd have to, for the first month and a half, I couldn't move my legs. So I was completely bedridden and I'd have to crawl to the bathroom. I had my buddy Jeff that was my caretaker. It was in August, so it was, that was the period. And I'd just sit in bed and, uh, and sweat. I didn't have central air conditioning either. So I just had like this little fucking fan. Yeah, not being able to walk <clears throat> for that long was uh, j just actually being handicapped and actually being in a wheelchair and not being able to like, I'd never had any understanding of surgeries or anything before that, so I kind of got pushed into a pretty serious uh, situation in recovery. Did that and then went to, I did physical therapy down in San Clemente with Dr. Dave for about six months. At the end of that, he told me that I was able to skate and kind of ease into it, so I started skating again. And I was like, oh, okay, six months, 
not a year. Did the classic thing where go out, skate flack, try to three flip, and felt something in my knee again. So I was like, oh fuck. Told Dave that, and he was just like, oh, he's like, you're fine, you're gonna be good. You know, it's all mental. So I just kept pushing, and I was like, no, I'm feeling something in my knee, and uh, ended up going back after six months and getting another MR arthrogram, and I'd retore a different part of my meniscus in my right knee. So I had a third surgery, so I was out for another four or five months. During that whole period of time, I completely forgot about it. That's the only thing I could do, so I kind of just took up other hobbies, which my main hobby was being good at exercising, which is the fucking lamest thing on the planet. Changed my diet, uh, I was taking I don't even know, 20 vitamins a day, spending probably thousands of dollars on vitamins and just basically putting, like any money that I'd get from skating would go all to the recovery. So yeah, it was fucking terribly depressing. I didn't, I didn't think that I was going to skate again. I got to the point where I was like, all right, I'm keep re-tearing it. I'm just a knee person now. I can't do this. I'm gonna have to wear braces or anything to skate. I was just mentally depleted of like any, any like optimistic thought. I could not do, I could not think positive at all. And it just like completely fucked everything. Fucked my relationship, fucked my sponsors. I was getting kicked off sponsors while I was just sitting there trying to recover, waking up every day, going to physical therapy four times a week, five times a week, eating healthy, like doing all the right things. But at the same time I was at like, out of grasp with the industry and I couldn't like be like, hey, I'm I'm coming back, it's gonna be fine. Just uh, like keep paying me and then when I get back, I promise you I'll uh, reimburse you with whatever you want from me. Um, but yeah, it's, it's so nice to be like on the other side of it. That was, yeah, just like a, a year and a half of fucking hell. And now I understand like a lot of guys that have been injured and ankle problems and their whole fucking, like I fully understand it now, but I actually want to be, uh, I want to be a better skateboarder than I was before. And I look at like Ave and, uh, and Reynolds and, and Arto and all those guys that have fully been through every injury on the goddamn planet, skating better than they ever, than they, than they ever have. Seeing that dedication, knowing that those guys wake up every fucking morning, eat a certain way, exercise a certain way, uh, mentally prepare for things, it's, it's really motivating. I was on 3D during that whole period of time and we, <laughs> we just uh, introduced a company to the fucking skate industry and then I got hurt. And it was just Brian and I and he was busy filming for a Nike video and I was hurt, so the company ended. Um, and then right after that, yeah, I talked to Grand Inzura over a weekend. I, I knew it was gonna be good because Grant's an extremely motivating person and films every single day, and that's the reason why the whole company is working. That's helped out a lot, is being able to like skate with your Escape with your friends that, you know, you go over to their house and eat, uh, cook dinners for each other and kind of share those moments. Like, I don't know, just sweating all fucking day and then cooking tacos and drinking beers and doing that shit. Having that around is, I don't know, like it kind of justifies why, why I decided to do it and why Grant decided to do a company. So it kind of worked in the timing and everything. And uh, yeah, it's, it's awesome. And it's cool that people are starting to notice uh, weekend and kind of what that it's becoming a not a serious brand but um, yeah brand where we're actually skating every single day providing the kids with some footage and uh, funny edits and the shit that people should care about and not all the other fucking dumb shit where people get away with doing half ass tricks looking like assholes you know I'm excited to put out this next video and see how people take it because everybody on the team has been uh, 